and no enemy troops left on the board. Cosmos heroes have Cosmos heroes have reached the infiltration point. Let's go, Mori. Wait, the enemy. Boson jump. Target that fighter. Whatever it's up to, we cannot let it happen. Spike in boson particle readings. They're not on our side. What? Nondisco. Jump complete. On to the next phase then. I haven't used this one in a while. Our reinforcements have been wiped out! Impossible! Does the Nadisco have a jumper we don't know about? Titan 3! So it's you, Banjo Harren! Indeed, I too was born on Mars. I see. He's Sozo Haran's son. It's only fitting that he could do this. My father, Sozo Haran, and the Meganoids cooperated with the Jovian Federation and were involved in the excavation of, the Mar of Martian ruins. Discoveries led to boast and jump. I won't forgive those who use this as a tool of war or to fulfill their own selfish desires. For the sake of the world and its people, Daitarn III and I will crush the Martian successor's ambitions. If you have... If you do not fear the blinding light of the sun, come! Show me what you've got! I, so that's why you've been after him, Banjo. I'm scared. I've never seen Banjo act like this before. Never thought such a cheerful guy would have that much pent-up anger. There was a battle here, too. I'm glad you're okay, Banjo. It's my first time jumping, after all. Akatsuki went through a lot of trouble to send us that... Ah, Akatsuki went through a lot of trouble to send us the Nagasuki B Boson Jump Unit. I didn't want to use it if I could help it. Thanks to you, we won this round. Thanks, Captain Ruri, for agreeing to my risky plan. You weren't the only one risking your life. But then Kodai, we'll take it from here. You hurry on to Amaratsu. Got it. Let's go, Mori. Roger that. Banjo, risk it all to finish what your father started. I can't deny that. But does a man need a reason to fight evil? Good question. Let's go, Akito. This war isn't over yet. We've still got scores to settle. Understood. All available units, hurry to block four. It can't fall into enemy hands. Transmit to the surrounding terminal colonies. All units to Amaratsu. It's too late. What's happening? All systems down on Amaratsu. At this rate, we won't be able to activate Chulip. What? They got us good. They got us good this time. They must have hit us with the virus and hacked our system from the outside. This base is as good as God. XO Sonata's special virus strikes again. I knew so it was him. I bet he knew this day would come and he was ready to leave the enemy blind. We see the virus in Damaratsu while waiting for Kodai was a key up component of our plan. And Captain Brewery's hacking was perfect, as always. Akito, it's up to you now. Judging from Lieutenant Cardi's information, it's safe to assume the system used to control boats and jumps is housed here. Sorry about that. The sheer number of defenders also seems to suggest that. Yurika is on the other side of this wall. Akito. Yurika and I were subject to an experiment to see if the calculation unit could be used to control boats and jumps with thoughts. When Nergal rescued me, the last thing I saw was Yurika and the calculation unit being unified into a thought translator. That's terrible. Yurika, I'm coming for you. What's this? Kind of Gundam. But what is it doing here? The system installed in that Gundam is what gives us our power. You. Its ability to translate intimate intent ultimately led to the successful transmission of our thoughts to the calculation unit. Fokushin! Where is Yurika? 
on Mars. There she serves the heart of the access system that connects the calculation unit. No. <laughs> I can feel your pain and hatred. Does fanning the flames of his anger please you, Hokushin? Or should I say, the last Meganoid? <laughs> the taboo technology Shozo Haran brought to the Jovians. Even if, but even if you've modded, been modded since then, you no longer pose a threat to us. You who take pleasure in death, my hatred for you is as large as your ego. Very well, Bancho Haran, Akito Tenkawa, but I'm afraid we'll have to settle this later. Wait! Amaterasu has fallen. I'll be waiting for you on Mars. So I guess we'll settle it on Mars. Hold on, Eureka. Haran! Then Kodai, the mission was successful. Indeed, Horror be the safe really save the day with that viral injection. You would trust me with the lives of the fire of the Yamato's crew. Failure is not an option. What about him? It seems the Mars Inquisitor has captured him, but a system of failure allowed him to escape. <laughs> I am Amaro Ray! I I am Amaro Ray. I pilot that mobile suit, V Gundam. Oh, or there should be the new Gundam. Huh? You're kidding, right? Is that... New Gundam! So you're Amaro! That's right. Amaro... That's right. Amaro Ray. Are you serious? The same Amaro that went missing on Axis? What are you doing here? I need to ask the same of you. What are you doing in this world? We'll explain later, Commander Amaro. We've got enemies incoming. We must return to Mars and report to Kusakabe. Commander, incoming trip... No, this incoming from a Mr. X. What? Hello, Marsden Successor. This is Mr. X's agent, Herb. We're facing a crisis here. What do you want? We thought you could use some reinforcements. Put them to good use. Wolfgang's robots. The Marsden Successor's backer probably sent them. Okay, we'll escape while we still can. Watch our backs for us. Look at all these scumbags. Don't worry, Cafe. We've got reinforcements of our own. <laughs> Look! Yama Yamato, we meet at that we meet at last. We can meet again at last. Each section, report. Engineering, no abnormalities. Radar, no abnormalities. Navigation system, no abnormalities. Armaments, no abnormalities. Until this day, I've kept Yamato away from conflicts between the Earthlings. But the Marsden successors must be stopped for trying to use Yamato as a part of their military might. From this point on. The Yamato will act in tandem for those of this world who seek the destruction of the Martian successors. Yes, sir. Commander Okita, I am Ruri, Major Ruri Hoshino of Nandisko, first working with the Earth Federation. I'm grateful for your help. We're the ones who should be thanking you. Let's begin after the battle is over. So the forces of two worlds? The forces of two worlds are united as one. Not two worlds. Three. Mithril, Commander Amaro, and the rest of us are here too. Amaro Ray. He's unlike the bio brain I fought on Jupiter. Is he the real thing? Then again, he's probably the ever away from another world. All units, we must stop the Martian successors and their supporters. I don't think we'll use we'll see major reinforcements now they can't use Chula. Launch the attack. Strike down the Martian successors. <laughs> Sadly, I can't use. So just, I can't just use the wave motion gun over here. I can use the gravity blast. Ah, uh, but I can't. Oh, only at 90 degree angles. I can only hit two opponents. You know what? That's fine. A final attack. Successors, we advance to smash up at their frontline bases. All that's left is to smash the enemy HQ itself. But that will not be easy.
Mars. I wonder if Yurika is in there. Just you wait, Hokushin. Sun attack! But you know what? This should finish you off outright. I hate this. I can't just live to avenge my father. I will celebrate life as a human being. And I will strike down all evil with the pride of the sun that dwells within me. Patriot. All range attack. Let's see what he can do. The world's once again cloaked in the ravages of war, and I have no choice but to be a part of it all. Char, where do I go from here? This is the first Gunpla model I ever built. Amazing. Looks like authenticity matters. Tose, it's almost as if you fought Emro, isn't it? Well, sort of. It was kind of a combined mint win for Toby and me. What do you mean? We'll talk about that later, that in the Gundam of our worlds. Speaking of which... You see the old school? Let's show them the new school. Oh, you already enacted, so you can't show them the new school. On your turn, we'll show them the new school. Actually, at first, now it's the Yamato's turn. Mr. Kodai, get these successors out of my sky. This last month, so much was lost to the Yamato and I could lick our wounds and heal. We can never give up. We will earn so much whoever it takes to return home and go after Iskandar. someone in range. You thought we forgot about you, didn't you? Okay, I see the animation for this. It's shooting a torpedo. Yorai-Hashya-Gan-Tobira-O-Kai-Ho. Okay, they replaced them with rockets.
Oh, I missed you earlier, so I'm not getting the, the, the SP point. We have one Gundam, we have a lot of Gundams. Halfway almost when he KO'd him. Not gonna do much, but I might do a little bit. Got the, first, yep, got the top of the ability, that helps. left. Bang Ray! Duh! There's the turn. Ah, oh boy. You don't know what to get into, do you? Those two kills for the bonus attack points. The enemy has been destroyed. If not for the Exos Virus program and the attack from the Earth Federation, we might be in serious trouble. Yamato's power should not be directed at allies, even more so than it is indeed. This is indeed another world. 
Enemies Annihilation is our objective. Don't forget that. Understood. And that means I've gotten those attack points. Man, you, <clears throat> you got nothing. You can go away. Where are levels up? Actually, probably just finish with the hand cannon from here. Never mind, the missile launch will be fine for you. A little overkill, but it'll work. Kill.
clean some off. <laughs> and you get finished off with the Mighty Slicer. Let's see the cutscene of this one because it's the final attack of this. And you're done. The Martha's successors and their supporting military forces have been destroyed. But the battle is not yet over. Major Hoshino, we're going to destroy the enemy HQ next. Our best chance now is while they're reeling from, is now while they're reeling from the loss of their frontline geosphere base. Yamato will warp to Mars. This is our planet's problem. We cannot put it all on you. We too will boast and jump to Mars. But don't we need a Class A jumper for that? Akito, huh? Give us a hand with this. We're begging you, Akito. We know it's unlikely that Lightning White strikes for Trice. If you insist. You're not turning into Meganoid. Huh? I know you want revenge, but that's where I draw the line. It's tied to your ego, the same as a Meganoid that abandons everything. It's okay, Banjo. Never, Akito would never forget how kind and caring he is. Right, Akito? You've been this to my mom, after all. Akito, think of how Ruri feels. Akito Tenkwa, prepared to fight at your side. You still have a place to return to. Akito. Okay, but what happens after we reach Mars? We'll leave the rest to you. Sorry. No need to apologize. Madara Okita, let's exchange whatever info we have and head for Mars. Understood. Thank you again for everything. Yurika, this is it. So what happened to you, Amuro? Well, it appeared that I passed through with the dimensional barrier when I was enveloped in the psycho frame of light that had repelled Axis. Next thing I knew, the Mars systems had me. They forced me to help them with their research. The experiment just directly sent thoughts to the calculation unit to control bosun jumps. The psycho frame used on uh, New Gundam serves to amplify human psycho waves. To contact the simulation unit, they're apparently using special humans to align their consciousness or what we call Class A Jumpers. Thanks to them, I think they succeeded in using Psychopim to transmit thoughts more directly than ever before. It appeared I was created as a text subject that could create, generate greater psycho waves. And I can't believe it was only us that... and that you were teleported here too. As the commander said, it appears our world and this one are very closely connected. We can't let anyone who'd use terror to overthrow society get their hands on our world's technology. I intend to travel to Mars with Yamato. We're, we're going to. We can't let them have their way with the world as peaceful as this one. Bernadette! Oh, Tobia, I never thought we'd meet here of all places. But I swore I'd be there for you no matter what. Well said, Tobia. I think I'll steal that line of the Chancellor's. That's one big if. Don't say that, Lottie. It must be a rare day indeed if a stick in the mud like Belt is cracking jokes. What's going on, Kisaragi? If you mean nine, you should probably ask her. I'm tired of trying to explain it. Well, that made, that too came as a surprise, but we're merely interested in Amuro Ray's Gundam. As if those weren't enough, we've now got double Zeta Gundam and the... I forget what the name of uh, Z Gundam over there. You never fail express, Captain Kato. You really know your Gundam. But what in the world is a hundred-year-old Gundam as its legendary ace doing here? We really don't know for sure, but we think they're somewhat different from those of the same name who inhabited our world's past. For whatever reason, history, their history seems to be progressing a lot like ours did, except for a few differences here and there. The way we see it, it's, ne it's as near as it is distant. So you could say that Amuro Bay's world and Oz are, like si are like siblings. Does this mean they'll all be connected to this world and Amuro Bay's world are so that this all happened because this world and Emerald Race world are somehow connected? You might be onto something there. Regardless, we need to concentrate on the fight with the Martian successors first. We'll be departing soon. We gotta pay them back for all the hospitality they've shown us this past month. When we get our hands on potion jumps, we'll finally be able to return to our world. Are they really that powerful? Exosonata says they are. Alright, 
We're going home. Hearing that really raises the stakes in the battle with the Marsden successors. Kisaragi, weren't you with Murakumo? We'll talk about that later. I'm sure he's fine. Okay, then. Shoji, well, it looks like we'll finally be able to go home. I'll see you after the Marsden successors are dealt with. Then we'll figure out where to go from there. Okay, two new DLC missions unlocked. We'll play those next time. Let's do one dialogue cutscene first. Hello, Nine. I guess you're here to barrage the Yamato's crew with questions? Even though I am an AI, trying to talk to that many people overloaded my systems. Well, they're probably surprised that an AI could be made into such a lovely lady. It seems Ota is into that kind of thing. Such a lovely lady? What did you say? You think I'm lovely? Yes. It's been ages since I last saw Yamato in action, but there's really a lot to learn. Or, it's been ages since I last saw Yamato in action, but there's really a lot to learn from its tactics. After processing and analyzing them closely, my tactical processing capability was able to acquire data equivalent to 100 attack points. Uh, uh I see. That that's great. Nine. You heard lovely and got excited. You heard lovely and got excited, just like an ordinary girl. I use a bit of excitement myself. Hey, Master Hirata and Bernadette, I'll prepare your food supplies for the fight. Oh, er, um, a cat, cat is headbutting my microphone. Sorry. Okay, thanks, Nine. What? Sorry, Nine, you just surprised us is all. Analyzer is the only other autonomous robot we've ever seen, you know. Analyzer treats me the same as when I was System 9-9. Even if in fear and appearance, a regular robot might have an easier time accepting things as they are. I rather... Shows how times have changed, because original Space Battleship Yamato Analyzer would be like going for sexual harassment, because it was the 70s. But I think he looks friendlier than before. What if I were to make a human body like mine for Analyzer? No, he's fine as he is. In his, in his case, I doubt any change in appearance would be enough to make him charming. <laughs> Analyzer would be furious if he heard you. So, it's our little secret, okay, Nine? Understood. I'll use this as a bargaining chip with future negotiations with you, Harada. I'd almost rather have Analyzer mad at me, to be honest. Okay. Hundred attack points. Doesn't something. Let's do the suborders real quick. Oof. Ah, uh, cat. Just kitty. You're gonna you're gonna hang get caught on the cable. Sorry. Okay, so, um, next. All right. I want to do level, low-level stuff first. So, Mao, Kurtz, Battle Bomber, Ursha, and Sosuke. That should be enough to level them all up. Troll. Yoko, Wadi, Metsuna, Saburuda, Vivian, and then tack points is whoever. Same with money. Extra, extra tack points, more kills. Everyone levels up. And a bunch of extra cash. Might gain, it definitely gets super maneuverable, so it's up its armor, so it tanks better. Zeta's fine, Shiggy's fine, Mark II is fine. Fine, Super Estiovalis. Alright. So next time, we will do the two DLC missions and see what's been going on on the side with our protagonists.
Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.